it's, it's been a big thing for the league, right? Like you see uh, Kevin Allman going to Edmonton and he said, I think similar to you did, Marco, that he didn't th- feel he was getting any attention in the USL, right? Whereas... Yeah, and that's, he, that's the thing, you know, that's like I was sort of interrupted there, but no, no, I played no. in the USL, played multiple games in the USL. There's so many teams, so many players. It's, it's really hard to get noticed there. And mm-hmm. little, like it's very, very small margin of them jump to MLS. Yeah. When we had uh, Louis Belongoyet on for our first player pundit hangout, we asked him the same question that we're going to ask you. And obviously, there's no universal answer and no way to pinpoint exactly. But to the best of your knowledge and, and for what you believe, why do you think so many players decided to leave Valor and try different opportunities? Because we've we've seen a good passionate fan base there. We've seen a lot of things, a lot of reasons why you might want to stay but there's just seemed to be an exodus this year of all these players deciding to pursue other opportunities. Mm-hmm. So what do you think that ultimately came down to? Yeah, I think, uh, I think it, honestly, I could say it came down to, you know, that season not being a great season. You know, it was a very, it was a very, da- in a, how would you say this? It was a very frustrating season for, for the guys that have played pro, you know, there were, there were a lot of guys that that thought they deserved more than they got at Valor, but uh, you know it was it was a case of of not. I felt like we were in the situation there at Valor because it was a case of guys not playing pro before. This is first time playing pro, and you know me, I try to lead by example. You know I'm I come into training, I train hard every day. Uh, do the right things, eat properly, you know, because at the end of the day, that's what's going to get me to the level I want to get to. But I don't think many of the guys understood that. They thought they could come into training and still and be mediocre all week and still think they would start on the on the weekend. But that's not the case, you know. The, like talent can only take you so far, and we all know that. You got to put hard work, and and I feel like just so many losses, so many frustrating times during the year was probably, and a lot of guys not not wanting to throw that pressure on them to, you know, take on another year that. I feel like it was, uh, it was just a, uh, an escape, like getting away from there would be an escape to, to from the unknown. I guess I could say something, say like that. You know, because right. no one, no one really knew the squad that Valor was going to put out this year. You know, they didn't really come out with signings until after January. So it was, uh, it was tough. You know, they couldn't. Th- nobody knew whether what way they were going with signings and all that. So I feel like that's why people took taking opportunities. Uh, obviously, other teams are grabbing these other guys, and and so-called they were better than valor last season so a lot of them are probably saying oh if i go there it's going to be better than valor but you never know right second season it can be valor can win the championship you know it's it's such a new such a new league that i feel like anything can happen still yeah i think it's a great point because it's not like the league has 30, 40 years of history where clubs, you sort of know what to expect from certain clubs after an extended period of time. So players have to make the decision. Do we really believe that we can change this and turn it around next year or pursue other opportunities, which is what you did. So obviously um, it's going to be interesting because now in a sense, there's a target on your back's the wrong word, but do you feel a bit more pressure that you have to perform and say, look, if I didn't think Valor was going to do it now, I really have to be a pro and help Pacific achieve better things this year. Yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not a guy that puts pressure on myself. You know, I always want to be in the best situation I can be, put myself in the best, in the best position I can be. And I feel like I've done that. You know, I feel like I'm, I'm in the best place that I can be at the moment. And I just got to enjoy that. You know, that's, I'm one of those guys that, you know, I come to work every day and enjoy myself and, and that just carries to the field. If you're in a good environment and, and the people around you are good, everyone's good human beings first and that's that's what's gonna bring you to a Saturday game that's gonna make everybody perform you know being in the right environment day in day out 